the world has tricked us into thinking that happiness and love and peace is found outside of us, in things, in other people, from other people, from other places. But really it's peace, the unfathomable peace is us, it is, it is who we are, it is found within us. Like Jesus said, Jesus was a wise man. The kingdom of God is found within and with that is all of the, the good things in life. The best things of life are, in life are free, like nature, fresh air, the birds singing, the sunshine, the ground beneath your feet, having arms and legs if you have them, if you're lucky because some people are born without any arms and legs. And what is love other than who we are? True love is who we are. It's unconditional love. It comes from within us. It is not the romantic love that's very hormonal and physical and it's like a surge and then it goes away and then often you're left with fault finding the other person, criticizing, judging, seeing the worst in them and like I said before, fault finding and just, you know, projecting unconsciousness and arguments followed by suffering, conflict and separation. That's a lot of relationships. But if you find and connect with the love that you are, the unconditional love, and, and allow this to permeate your being, and the words that you speak, and how you speak, and the actions that you do, and the things that you do not do, and this, especially the words that you do not say, and also the way you do not say or do things, the way you do not do things or say things, you will connect with other human beings on a heart level because you are coming from your heart. It doesn't matter what other people do necessarily. It doesn't matter essentially what other, how other people are. That's not in your control. What matters is how we are. The energy and the vibration, the frequency that we bring and embody. So living in the real world, how does this apply? We've come here because in the beginning we've come to the earth because it's interesting, it's engaging, it's challenging. Right now at this time period earth is a playground of all sorts of colours and shades. There's so many things happening from the very very healing, nurturing and positive to the very very dysfunctional, disharmonious and divisive. So we, we applied this to our real life, what I called real life grounded spirituality physical and the spiritual, all the chakras from the top to the bottom. None are better, but they all work together. It's like the end of the snake is not worse than the beginning of the snake. So we've come to the 3D for a reason. And that's to explore and to experience. And that's what it is. So we, we, we cultivate these things in our lives by looking at ourselves looking where we aren't deep unconditional peace, the ocean of calm, the ocean of peace in any situation or storm. That's what I like to call it. Sometimes. And then the love. How do we embody that? Think about maybe a child, like a mother's love for the child. Think about your love for your mum or your dad or your son or your daughter, you know. We can connect with who we truly are. Because at this time, the world has distracted us from who we are and taught us what we are not. And when we buy into the falsehood, we suffer. So spirituality for me is about discovering the truth and letting go and seeing the falsehood. That's it in a nutshell. So the final thing, there's peace, there's love, and then there's joy. So joy, you embody joy, you bring joy to life. You don't have to find the joy in a roller coaster trip. Or you don't find peace on a beach or on top of a mountain. Sure, it's peaceful, but you can be on those places and be very disturbed and distressed and unhappy. So don't look for happiness primarily from the out. Nurture the inward and have the outwards, the outer peace and happiness and things, etc. The outer relationships. Have them as, a, as bonuses, as add-ons as extras to complement your inner beauty and your radiance that you're bringing forth and allowing to shine. One thing I want to say is try to see and let go of the fear that holds you back. Let go of what holds you back 
don't hold yourself back. So I've noticed even in my life for sure, because I'm like everyone else, just learning and expanding. Um, I've noticed that I hold back sometimes, but I, I want to let go and, and not to hold back from good stuff, playfulness, outrageousness sometimes, like harmless stuff. Who, who I truly am and how I really feel in a conscious way, being present in the moment, being aware. And that's my message for today. So thanks for joining me. I wish you well today. I send you love from Ireland in this beautiful planet. I'm all about it, personal, group, nation, global, and intergalactic cosmic healing and expansion. So I'm off service and I love what I do. So take care and I wish you a beautiful day and a warm, happy, safe, holy, pure day here in the world. So enjoy yourself. Be grateful together. Thanks. Love. Owen. <laughs>